Welcome back, folks. We are back in Transport Fever 2. It's 1977, the year that I was born. Actually, just a few days after I graced the world with my presence. Uh, my mom and dad, they were professional dancers at this time. They had several dancing schools. And uh, my dad was also an, uh, an airline mechanic at the same time. So, um, yeah, I grew up in a very nice home in Denmark for the first few years of my life. Uh, and uh, we'll, um, we, we'll, we'll check us through the next three or four years uh, during these next episodes. And I'll tell you a little bit about my life growing up. Uh, though I don't know much about it, of course, because I don't remember it. Uh, I was too young. Uh, but I have been told a lot, and I have some pictures. I'm not going to show pictures of it, uh, because it's private. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I was born in uh, Roskilde, in Denmark. And... Uh, to, to my parents, uh, my dad thankfully is still here, my mom unfortunately not, uh, for a few years now, and um, yeah, they, they, were, uh, they were professional dancers, they had several dancing schools around Denmark, uh, on Schellet, and I grew up in a dancing family. It's not just my parents that had dancing schools. Uh, my aunt had a dancing school when uh, when I got old enough to start dancing, uh, which I've done a lot. Um, my my parents didn't have dancing schools anymore, but my aunt did, uh, and I danced in her dancing school and when she stopped having the dancing school her daughter started having the dancing school and when she stopped having it my cousin started having it so yeah but anyway uh, today we are going to build our spine line from Memphis up to Fresno up to Madison and possibly up to Winston-Salem and Omaha. All right, so Fresno to Madison. How are we gonna do this? This is a little bit awkward how the stations are placed. Uh, we need to bring the passenger line up this way and we need to bring the cargo line up this way as well but kind of from two different sides of the city and I think we'll we'll put the station here in Fresno and then on this tools factory is kind of awkward so I think we'll probably put it over here. I don't know. It's a little bit awkward. A little bit awkward. Also, I, I had a comment that I should be putting my, um, my cargo hub uh, vehicle stations uh, I, I should making be making one not, not this one this one is a bad example uh, let's find one that's a good example um, hmm guess down here so we have an in and out on the same side here which is awkward because even though there's no traffic light or anything and there's no reason for them holding back when they're turning in and out 
Uh, they do. Uh, the, the trucks do hold back. So I should put an in on one side and an out on the other side to go on different roads. And that's a great point. I think that's a very good point and I will be doing that going forward and I'll probably change the stations that I've made already to do that because it just makes it more traffic friendly it makes it more traffic friendly so I think we'll do that but anyway we're working up here right now and this is going to be awkward this is going to be awkward uh fresno is going to be awkward everything is just going to be awkward so yeah but um we'll make it work somehow i think the first thing we need is, is the bulldozer and we'll just pull this back to there and we'll start with the cargo line. And I think I want I want to make at least uh, Fresno and Madison uh, combined stations. It might actually be good to put Madison over on this side so that the tools factory is just hooked up. I think that might be okay. I think that might be okay. So so let's put in some stations. All right. Uh, cargo. And we want station. And we want two tracks, 320 meters, high speed Kataris. And I think we want it right where this road is, actually. Terrain isn't great. The terrain isn't great. We could put it a little bit outside of town. And maybe try to catch this food factory. Which wouldn't be all bad to do. Alright, yeah, that's the plan. That's the plan. So we'll put this right here for now. It should be doable with the two lines or the four rails the question is do I want it that way or do I want to turn it around I think I want to turn it around yeah let's do that it cost a little bit of money, but that's fine. We have 2.7 billion to work with. So we should be okay. So I think I'll, I'll, I'll put it this way. And then I will edit it. Why can't I edit it? I would like to configure you, please. Configure. Configure. Okay. There we go. And we want... Well, first of all, we want a passenger platform. Yes, this... Passenger train will be a little bit out of town, but I mean, that's fine. I, I don't mind that. 
because it reduces uh, noise pollution. So that might make the city grow a little bit faster. I think, uh, you know, we'll configure it a little bit more because we want some passenger buildings and we'll build some roads for it as well, of course. So let's put a few passenger buildings down. I think we'll go all the way down to this now. Well. Do something like that. That's a pretty grand station. Okay. That road is just weird, isn't it? What is that? Hey, come on. Alright. Uh, let's put in some decent roads. City roads. Yeah, I think we'll we'll make them uh, large. I think that's okay. We'll turn this one into a large one as well. Just make it a, a large road in through the kind of center of town. Okay. And then we need a road coming down here. That's not nice. That's better. That's not better. That's not better at all. That's a little better. Okay, that I can live with that. And then... Why? Oh, it was auto-saving, that's why. We'll do that, and we'll upgrade you. And then we'll come in here. It's a bit too far away, isn't it? Mm. I think that's okay. We'll we'll remove this road, I think, and we'll put it a little bit further away, maybe. Or not. Because we don't need a crossover here or a junction, so so that should be fine. Yeah, the question is here: Can we get a track to go in here reliably? That is the question. Uh, let's let time roll slowly. Not that we need the money, but we want the dates to progress a bit. And uh, I actually think I'll put this up to normal speed. And, and we'll see. Uh, I'll tell you a little bit about my life uh, as we get up to the next years. Uh, just for funsies. Can we get trains? No, we, we can't. We can't get ships through there. Not at that height. So we need a bridge. 
Okay. Um, you know what? Let's start with the bridge. Make sure that we can get ships through there. In case we want to. It's insane. Look at that. No, no, no. Uh, let's start up high. Around here. That looks like it should be fine for ships. And... We can't do this. We, we can't do it this way because I'll never get this to hook onto it. This curvature is just insane. But I might have to live with it. Or not sail ships through that. I might actually be okay with that. Though it is a vital... Shipping channel, I'd say. Yeah. We're gonna have to do this. And use that one. All right. And ships can get through. Good. Okay. Is that straight? It doesn't look straight. That's that should be straight. Okay. And then I think I'll just want it to go straight. I mean Man, this is a shitty spot, isn't it? And this is a cargo one. Yes, it is. So that needs to go over this way anyway. Rain sucks. We need to turn over this way a bit. What happened there? Look at that. That's just horrible. You know what? We're going to have to pause because they already built this stuff again. That we just tore out. We're already in 1978. Uh, oh. That's why there's nothing there. Had S's going all over the place. 
No, no, no. Alright, let's just try and put this in here. It's horrible. It's horrible. Uh, and it's also the wrong track. this one we're gonna have to do some uh, some terrain editing here because I think this is probably gonna be the best that I can do so we'll just do that and then we'll do a bit of smoothing. Okay. The smoothing, smoothing tool is really the only one that you ever need, in my opinion. I mean, what? Why, why would you use anything but but it? I, I don't know. Okay, so we have that going in. Then it's the passengers, and the city has kind of uh, expanded a bit. So we're gonna have collisions galore, aren't we? Ah, it's actually not too bad. And we'll use this one because that's what the station is. It seems unnecessarily thick though. I guess we're going to have to do a tunnel through this because well, that's some mountain that's just there. What? We basically need to come over here. I guess we'll just cut through it like the game is suggesting and we will do a bit of terrain modification as well. I think that'll be fine. And then we need you. Jesus. Uh, not like that, that's for sure. All right, let's start from here. I guess we'll do it the same. We want to go more or less straight, I think. Like that. And we'll stick that one in. So it's the same type of bridge. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. 
That'll work, that'll work. Is that the right one? Yeah, that's the right one. Alright, that, that, that works for me. That works for me. Yeah, I hope it does for you too. Okay. So there we have it. Fresno hooked up. Um, and then we'll hook up Madison as well. I think the look of these two bridges is okay. It's not great. But I think it's okay. Of course, we'll get lines going to Fresno. And I guess, uh, let's see. Do you actually connect to... No. You don't actually connect to this, but never mind. We'll have a tiny truck route, I guess. Alright, so we need to go through this mountain and into Madison. And we'll put the Madison station here. Because... We want to go on to Winston-Salem. And we can definitely connect this tools factory. Directly. Which will be good. So yeah. Uh, did I? I cut some road connection, didn't I? But did I put it back? I guess I did. Oh, there's this thing that's not hooked up, but that's okay for now. Um, hmm. How the heck? Can it not? This road needs to go. Let's cut you back. All right. Um, we want cargo over there. So let's just start with passenger. I think we'll just go with the regular one. Oh, a road there. I think we'll put it in just like this. Yeah. We also need to get around the fish thing, so I think this is fine. I think this is fine. Like that. And we'll configure it. And we'll add a cargo platform. I made a couple of boo-boos. As usual. <laughs> there we go. And then speed tracks times two. And then a another cargo platform all right 
And I think we'll put some cargo buildings in on the other side as well, because it makes sense. Just something like that. And then we'll hook this road. Up to there. And we'll hook this road up to here. Funky, I guess. It's not pretty, but it's not terrible, per se. That'll do. And then some rails. And then some rails. Well, we can get across here and it's good. It's going to be horrible for traffic this though. But, alright. Let's just try and do that and see what it does. That is not pretty. That is really not pretty. What, what's the elevation difference? So, here we're at three and a half meters. Here we're at 78 meters. Okay, so there's quite a bit of elevation difference. Okay. 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 Let's... Out like this. We'll cut into this mountain a little bit. Well, I guess a small bridge there isn't the worst. Um, 225? I think I want to go 300. Because this is a pretty straight area of track. It's all 225. 300. And it's a bit of a different bridge than we've used before. So I am okay with that. And this works. Yeah, this works nicely. Very nicely. Cool. Alright. Here we go. Now this track needs to come alongside. Maybe I should pull it back just a tad. Try this. 
Yeah, that's perfect. That is perfect. Come through to here. And come into there. That'll definitely work. Nice. And a little junction on these and we're in business oh, wrong spot there we go beautiful Then we just need some signals. And they are one way. And they are definitely auto signals. And there. And there. That should take us all the way up to here. Perfect. Yeah, that's fine. And then here and here, and that'll take us up here. And that is just fine. Yeah. All right, we don't need to have the time paused anymore. Okay, I'm not sure how much I like this bridge, but it's the same structure as the platforms, so I guess it's okay. But what is that? <laughs> what, what what is that? How how did the town build a house in there? Look at that. That's weird. The building is just going straight through. The platforms. Okay. That is weird. That is really weird. But it's fine. We need to do a little bit of maintenance over here because this looks funny. Uh, so we'll cut this side down, I think, to be level with the tracks. And it's fine that it's cutting into the side of the mountain there. I kind of like that actually. But I don't want it to be going up on the other side. So something like that. Okay. That's good. So now all we need to do is extend our lines. But we're going to do that in the next one. Because we are running out of time and you do reach that. It's beautiful. That is beautiful. But you don't reach that, no. It sucks. Maybe we can get it to reach. Let's just try. If we made a street like that, then it reaches. Exactly. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Okay, so that's two factories that we've just hooked in together with two cities. We can bring logs here, bang, go up and make tools. And they can be brought all around. Madison needs tools. We can hook in the grain, the marble, 
the plastic, the silver, the mail, everything can just be hooked into our uh, spine lines, which I love. And we're going to need a total of four spine lines. We're going to need a total of four spine lines. Two that we already have, the fluid and the box. Then we need a hopper and a uh, stake line. But that's okay. And they need to have a ratio of... Thinking at least 2,000 each, or a rate of at least 2,000 each. If that's even possible with the amount of trains that we want going, we'll see. We'll see. But anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.